Moses delivers to the promised land door. The time had come. The 40 years were up. It was time for God's family to go into the land that God had promised Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob so long before. But God had some unfinished business to take care of with Moses. Remember how Moses had hit the rock for water instead of speaking to it like God had told him? Moses got frustrated and disobeyed. His discipline was that he couldn't go into the land that God had promised his children. But God took Moses up on a mountaintop and did something very special for him. He showed him all the land. He said, This is it. This is the land I promised. I'm letting you see it, even though you'll not be able to go over there. That was sweet of God, wasn't it? Even though Moses couldn't walk around the land and experience it with the others, I bet Moses was thankful to see it, don't you? I'm sure he was happy and relieved to finally see God's children, his big family, delivered right to the door of the promised land. Moses' big job was finished. He was 120 years old, but we're told he could see as clearly as he ever could. He didn't even need reading glasses, and he was just as strong as he was when he was a young man. Moses, the servant of God, had learned so much in his lifetime. He had gone from trying to be a hero to learning to be a humble servant and leader of the people, even if he did make a mistake there in the end. Do you think Moses was sad that he didn't get to go into the promised land? Yes, probably so. Discipline is meant to hurt. But do you think some good things came out of that discipline, even though it hurt? Do you think Moses learned from it? Yes. And I imagine some children your age learned to respect God when they saw God discipline Moses. And even right now, you are learning something from it, aren't you? Moses was disciplined by God, but he was still a treasured friend of God, too. Just wait and see where Moses comes up again in this story, but much later. He's going to get to talk to Jesus face to face. So Moses is doing just fine. He knows he's loved and everything is okay, even if he did get a little sting a long time ago. So Moses, at 120 years old, died right there on the mountain while God was showing him the land. And guess what? God himself buried Moses. God's family was sad for Moses to go. They cried for Moses for 30 days. But then when the time of crying for Moses was over, it was time to move on. Now Joshua was filled with the spirit of wisdom. This new generation of God's family listened to Joshua and did just as the Lord had commanded Moses long before. Yay! An obedient people! Finally! Finally!